What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcast Cross Worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing Missing's Magic Power is OP. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to help support the Superfina channel, we have Patreon and channel membership. Links to those will be in the description. Today, we are reviewing The Saint's Magic Power is OP, Episode 6, Lady. We weren't doing lady stuff until the second half of the episode. The first half of the episode followed the scene from the post credits on Episode 5. If you guys remember, it has Yuri the Grand Magus showing up in a classroom in front of Sei, telling her that he's going to be her magic teacher. So the first half of the episode is going to be about Yuri. The middle of the episode had a lot of scenes with Albert and the last scene of the episode touch on the lady stuff. That sounds weird. Lady stuff. <laughs> Anyways, so those are the three things I want to talk about. Yuri, Albert, and lady, which involved Elizabeth. Yeah, Elizabeth, new bestie. <laughs> Anyways, so the first part Yuri. He's interesting. Uh, he's her teacher. She asked to be taught magic. That was one of the rewards she wanted from the kingdom. She wanted to learn about magic, which she should because, you know, she has a lot of power. So Yuri wants to teach her because, one, her abilities are the kingdom's secrets. The less people know about it, the better. Two, he wants to study her magic because it's very interesting to him. And three, he enjoys it. He enjoys researching. <laughs> so it's he you re reminds me of characters who are so obsessed with their projects, with that thing that's caught their interest, that they become oblivious to everything else. Like they become oblivious to social cues, they become oblivious to what's normal, what's acceptable. <laughs> Yuri, there's some scenes where it makes me question him. For example, when he asked Say to transfer mana or magic to him, he's like, oh wow. And he has like this like smile. The focus on his smile. And it I'm not too sure if it was supposed to be a exhilarating smile or if it was like a euphoric smile or if it was a like <laughs> now I got it smile. Like then at the end of the scene, Yuri has this like dark look and it's making me wonder if that's like a foreshadow that his obsession with researching her magic is going to lead to consequences. Yuri's been teaching Sei basic magic and he knows she can do better. Like he has a standard for her and Sei likes that he believes in her. So she went to practice with Albert's order. So they're practicing, they're doing like their drills and such and she's practicing how to heal them in real combat. Yuri saw this improvement. He's like, oh, what's your goal? And Sei's so like, well, I want to survive in these expeditions that I'm going to be in in the future. And Yuri's like, what? What do you mean? And Sei's so like, isn't that why you're teaching me for that? He's like, no, I'm teaching you because we want less people to know about your abilities and I want to research your magic. And Sei's so like, Oh, you did tell me that! Like, this is where it shows that Yuri is pretty straightforward. Like, he doesn't have ulterior motives, even though I suspect him a lot. And on the subject, it's like Yuri just realized that Sei would be put on these expeditions. He's like, oh yeah, I'm put on those too because there's not many holy attributes. Many people with holy attribute. Well, you know, Sei, I'll be on those expeditions with you, so... You don't have to worry, I'll protect you. So on that part, it made me think, okay, so he doesn't view her as like a tool or an object. He does care for her. And another thing that makes me wonder if he cares for her more than that is because he keeps touching her. There's like a lot of scenes where they're touching. Like he's have he's holding her hand. And at first I thought, okay, you're just trying to like suck up some magic info, right? But then after that part, he's talking about protecting her. It's like, okay, do you like her? Are you trying to do that kinship, skinship kind of thing to make her more comfortable with you? 
even though it was freaking out say at first because you know there is that saying where she's like back off <laughs> another person that's been doing skinship is albert we've been seeing more albert in this episode and there are scenes where he is touching her he's touching her cheek he's tucking her behind her ear he's dancing with her he put his hand on her waist he's doing a lot of what i call planting the seed <laughs> It's like every time he's touching her, he's letting Say know that he likes her. He's letting her know his intentions and letting Say remember that, hey, this could be a romantic relationship. Giving her the idea that this could blossom into something more than this courtship. I'm wondering if this is Albert's way to push, push the idea that they should go on with this relationship to go beyond courtship and what's interesting is they did say that whatever he's doing is pushing on her heart <laughs> so it's like yeah he's pushing it mm -hmm. pushing this relationship along mm -hmm. it is progressing go albert keep going keep going the part where we saw albert and say dancing was say's lady section in the show in this episode and they was learning how to dance and then after the dance practice albert was talking about how say is going to go to parties and she's going to have to socialize with people so this is why she's learning how to be a lady etiquette dancing etc etc this leads to say having her first tea party and who's it with elizabeth so she's talking to elizabeth and this is like a practice per se, how to conduct yourself at tea parties. And Elizabeth's the perfect person. Why? Because she is high up in the hierarchy and she's Prince Kyle's fiance. With Say learning about dancing, etiquette, Albert mentioning parties and having this tea party with Elizabeth, I'm wondering if the next episode or an episode not too far from this one, we're going to have, say, interacting with other nobles, joining parties and such. Because there's what I'm finding is episodes are foreshadowing for later on episodes, like literally foreshadowing it. For example, we had, say, at the library looking up magic and such. Here we are. Say is learning about magic. Another thing that it feels like this episode is foreshadowing is when Say is talking to Elizabeth, Elizabeth is talking about Prince Kyle hanging out with Ira, the other girl who got summoned, and how she's hanging out with other noble gentlemen who have fiancés, and how that's really bad, how it's frowned upon, how the girls who are engaged to these guys are very upset and they're just so perplexed and upset that Ira is doing something that's so wrong and such. Sei is explaining where they're from, Japan, having close relationships with men who are engaged is normal. There's no, you can't talk to him because he's taken. And to back up that, Sei gives an example of how she was fanning her legs with her skirt and Elizabeth was upset and she educated her that it's not proper to do that in this world and that's where it clicked in Elizabeth's head it's like oh okay that makes sense it makes sense that Ira doesn't know what's right or wrong what's proper what's not proper and so Say explains that yeah so you taught me what's the right way I'm sure those around her have taught her or corrected her and Elizabeth is like no if they were gentlemen they were correct her and none of these misunderstandings would be happening but the misunderstandings are still happening so no one's correcting her and this is where i'm thinking okay something's gonna happen between her and ira we're gonna see ira samar in later episodes i'm really hoping for that because in the beginning ira seemed like she was bad only because she was associated with kyle but as we're learning more about her like how she has a lot of pressure on her expectations but she's not meeting up for it to it meeting up to it meeting up to those expectations and how she's having these social challenges it seems like she's not having a good time and she needs a friend and i'm hoping her and say can meet up that way 
Ayura just can feel better and Sei can be like the bigger sister. That's what it seems like. It seems like Sei is going to take care of Ayura later on. What do you guys think? And that is my review of The Saint's Magic Power is OP Episode 6, Lady. What did you think about that episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of Twitch and YouTube, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is available in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this was a Superfina channel reviewing The Saints Magic Power is OP episode 6. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.